by air, by land, and by sea. All routes lead to this southern city. Beautiful scenery and sunny skies attract many additional residents each year. Unfortunately, this climate is also ideal for one of man's worst enemies, the Aedes aegypti mosquito, carrier of dengue and yellow fever. A special meeting of health officials set in motion the anti-mosquito campaign. It was decided that a concerted effort would be necessary, enlisting the aid of every source of publicity, together with the organized individual efforts of all the people. Pamphlets on the Aedes aegypti mosquito were made available for distribution to every home, together with an instruction sheet showing methods of destroying their breeding places, and posters urging definite action. A call to arms found the Boy Scouts prepared and anxious to undertake their duties. After being instructed by their leader, they started on their way to distribute pamphlets and inspect premises. Each scout had received instructions about possible breeding places and was determined to make a thorough inspection of each home. If it holds water, it will hold mosquito larvae. The water in this container is fresh. There are no larvae here, but they could develop within a few days. But let's look in other containers. Ah, here they are. Who would imagine so many larvae in such a small piece of pottery? Any container capable of catching water is a potential mosquito breeding place and should be immediately destroyed or emptied and turned bottoms up. A careful search is necessary to find the hidden containers which provide permanent breeding places. Larvae become mosquitoes. Mosquitoes carry disease. Inside or outside, it makes no difference. Man-made containers, small and large, harbor Aedes aegypti mosquito larvae. Discarded containers of this type should always be given to salvage and garbage collectors without delay. Constant protection of the family health demands constant vigilance. All drinking pans should be emptied and washed at least twice a week. Mosquitoes breed continually and are most prolific, one mosquito being able to lay hundreds of eggs within a single day. Horrified? No wonder such a small plant and all those wiggle tails in the water. All water plant receptacles in the home should be emptied and scrubbed twice a week. The stems of the plant should be carefully rinsed to remove any remaining mosquito larvae. A simple operation indeed, but only by such precautions can any home be kept free of the disease carrying Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. Vacant lots were found with accumulations of refuse. The scouts punched holes in containers to make sure they would never again be capable of holding water and mosquito larvae. Community cooperation is essential in all health education programs, since cleanup in one area contributes to the welfare of the entire community. Mosquito larvae are often found in unsuspected places, such as old discarded tires containing water. Posters were displayed throughout the city to keep the public ever mindful of the mosquito menace. Store owners contributed window space for unusual exhibits, conveying to the public the danger of mosquito breeding. The aroused public attitude assured the success of the anti-mosquito campaign. Every community has a wealth of resources, but its greatest resource is its people. 
capable leaders can develop the power and ability of the people to assure a victorious mosquito control program. It's up to you.